Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here with another video for Nightmare Creations. So, in this video, I'm going to cover It's Done. So, stay tuned. All right, so we're covering it's done. You're asking yourself, what's done? I know. This is now completely done. Um, so we're gonna kind of cover some of the techniques that I use to get some of the effects on here and uh, go from there. So, first of all, on this, like I said in a previous video, there's two layers of foam core. There is the this lip that goes around here is made out of 10 millimeter foam. The lettering, um, the N and the C is, I my memory is correct, is somewhere between four and six layers of two millimeter foam to give it that raised up and the smaller letters are two millimeter foam um crap i can't remember uh two maybe three layers of foam glued together stacked on the foam core i did a on the foam core, I drew lines to keep everything even and level, so I didn't have any letters that were wonky donkey and all over the place. Everything is pretty on point with one another. Um, from there, I took, the N is painted well, actually the whole thing was painted in acrylic black, which the back still has some of that on there that you can see, but once it's hanging on the wall, you won't see it. Anyways, um, painted the whole thing black after doing multiple layers of Mod Podge and toilet paper. And then from there, um, I took and painted the individual letters. The N is painted with uh, Plaid FX metallic purple. The red was painted with Plaid FX um, metallic red. The, not that you could tell a huge difference in it, but the B or the Von Baden, the Bi and the Nightmare Creations are actually two different colors. This is all a gold coin that is Plaid FX, I know. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, but that was Plaid FX. And then there was an antique gold. It's not the right name for it, but it's also, I've used it in other, um, props that I've done but the by Nightmare Creations is painted with a darker dingier color of gold that is by Plaid FX. I don't have it here next to me so I do apologize for that. From there the green here is actually Plaid FX uh, green gene mutant shift this stuff is really cool to work with really neat to see on your props gives it a nice color change shift or whatever you want to call it well, mutant shift I guess is what you want to call it um, that was done on the main part of this then I went back through and used, uh, I don't have it over here. I have a blue mutant shift that I used 
in the Erebus shield that did the the aged and running running down which is what I've done here as well and point it out a little bit there so there's this right here and all of this and I've got some that runs down right through here on the end yeah you can see that so I did that around the rivets as well for the sign now I wanted to give it a rust look and I went with this create text airbrush transparent it's a dark brownie red I don't know how brown that shows up on the camera but um, I wanted that brownie that uh, fire brick looking brown and I wanted that to be in specific areas like right in here around that end you'll see it uh, sporadically here and there and we'll talk about that in just a second areas where water and grime and whatnot would sit and start decaying away the sign was the reasoning behind putting that there unfortunately to me i mean it still looks really cool come out looking more like blood but hey you know whatever we're i'm i'm past the point of repaint everything and start all over so we just ran with it so now that we've covered the paints and how this was made some of the techniques that i used to do this now the blue i used in the airbrush which is a nice thing with plaid fx you can actually use their paints in an airbrush gun um and i did real real heavy and then as i came out it i started to let off the pressure off the trigger and pulling away so it just it wasn't a like bam just stopped you know and granted i don't know if that comes out well but it definitely does that where it fades out and i wanted it to be a resemblance of this is getting wet running down gets the next runs down gets the next is the end result um now with the red i was more sporadic with where i was doing the decay even on some of the letters you'll see it um where water would have just started to decay the metal and grime decaying it and whatnot so those were done a little bit differently um as i was going through i was constantly going back and forth with the trigger so it wasn't a you know hard solid some areas i did go a little bit more solid but i don't know how well that's translating on camera but it spreads out and gets lighter and lighter as it goes so fun build next it'll be behind me on the wall when i do videos from this point out so hopefully you've enjoyed this video hopefully i taught you something or at least showed you something pretty cool and until next time i'll see all of you on the very next video thanks bye